Hello Fly Babies, it's me, your Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to help you learn how to finally love yourself. Today is Friday, and we have a three-layer cake. The first layer of our cake is our five routines, our morning routine, which is followed by our children's morning routine, our laundry, which is happening in the background, so you're just gonna put it in and let it wash itself. While it's doing that, our paper routine, which takes just a couple of minutes, only an inch, and then later in the day, our after dinner routine and then before bed routine for yourself and your children. Usually yours is second. Unless you're exhausted, do yours first. Okay, that's the five routines and you see how they plug into your day. The second thing we're going to do is our basic weekly plan. On Friday, that is car and purse day. So if you don't change purses, at least clean out the stuff in your purse and give your purse a good wipe down. A good idea is to change your purse if you have a hard time doing that and you have extra purses, go ahead and utilize those. Everything will last longer and you'll look really cute and you'll feel really special with a different purse. Um, and the last thing is to clean your car and that's just to go, you know, shake the mat, make sure there's no trash in the car. All the things that don't belong in a car are out of the car. And this also might be a day you choose to put gasoline in the car, it might be a day that you choose to run it through the car wash. It's up to you. But a lot of people just go out and shake the mats because there's nothing left to do. Because once you start doing this on a regular basis and you're aware of the junk that your family is bringing into the car, you'll start making them take those things out and you'll start making yourself take things out that you bring in, setting a better example. And before you know it, there won't be much to clean. All right? Okay, that's what you're going to do. Now, if you're working, you can, you can do that on your lunch hour. You can go out to the car on your break or your lunch hour with your little Walmart bag and clean out the trash. And in the second Walmart bag, bundle up everything that's not supposed to be in there so when you get home you can take it in. Then for your purse, you can't dump it out in the coffee room, in the coffee break area, but you can certainly dig through it and pick out the gum wrappers and the old Kleenex and um, you know things that don't belong in there you can be aware of maybe even put them in a Walmart bag ball them up and stick them back in there so when you get home that can get put away too okay and then when you get home give your purse a wipe down at least wipe your purse down if you don't change purses all right um, then we're going to go on with our zone and we're in zone 5 the living room this is the last day of this zone for this month so do one thing in your living room if you don't have clutter if you do have clutter pardon me, whether it's clutter you can see or it's unseen clutter. Don't forget about the closets, about the drawers, um, about that little hidey hole, you know, wherever you hide things. Those things also have clutter, throw away, put away, give away. And once all those things are done, and you also remember that anytime you declutter something that's been cluttered for a long time, it's vulnerable for daily mindless clutter. So those clutter checks are very important to prevent the clutter from coming back in. Think of it like an open wound and the clutter as dirt. So you don't want dirt to get on an open wound. It'll cause an infection. So we don't want an infection of clutter in this room anymore. So we're gonna let it heal by training ourselves to not put things in there mindlessly and also reminding our family of the same thing. Again, this is not an accusatory type of thing. This is a just, oops, look what we've done. Look what I did. Look what I left here. Look what you left here. Let's help each other not do this anymore. Run, go put yours up and I'll go put mine up because we want this place to look great, okay? All right, so when you're working, when you come home, you're going to do your laundry, you're gonna do your inch of paper, you're gonna start supper. While supper is simmering on the stove or holding, you're gonna work in your living room for 10 minutes if it's a deep clean thing, or for 15, up to 15 minutes decluttering, and then completing the process by throwing it away, putting it away, or putting it in the giveaway spot, your trunk, or the back of your car. All right, now then you also, if you work, probably have that last item of basic weekly plan that needs to be, um, weekly home blessing hour that needs to be done. And so either it's you or it's the person you delegated it to. Please inspect what you expect. Don't forget that when somebody doesn't choose to do the job you have given them, then they have chosen a consequence, all right? Okay, that's not a fun part of life, but it's a required part. Just like it's not really fun to change a dirty diaper, things have to happen or it's gonna be catastrophe, okay? So you have to give consequences and realize that that's the child's choice, not your choice for them. You would have choos chosen for them to do this simple little job instead of lose their phone for the whole next day and tonight. 
because they're going to give you a fit. And you know what? It's not your fault, so I don't want you to take it personally. They have to know that that was the choice that they made. Okay? All right. We're going on with more. It is date night, so we're gonna have our after dinner routine and our before bed routine for the children. You may be going out for dinner, I don't know, but you're gonna go in there and get yourself ready for your date. So you're gonna do before date routine. What does that mean? Freshing, freshening up your makeup a little bit, freshening up your hair, maybe putting on a little scent, maybe changing your jewelry, maybe changing your blouse. You know, you don't have a lot to, it won't be bad. Maybe you're going in a t-shirt and jeans. It doesn't matter. Maybe your date's on the couch. As long as it doesn't involve the children, it's a date. <laughs> All right, so enjoy your date night and enjoy your evening. And then don't forget that tomorrow is family fun day. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you work as a payroll fly baby outside the home, there may be some things that you didn't get to this week. Try to practice doing them every day so that on Saturday you don't have so much to do. But those things are going to happen Saturday morning. So Saturday morning you're going to get up, do your morning routine, put your children through their routine, and then you're going to involve the children in these processes so we can get them done. And everyone realizes that this isn't Mama's house. This is our home. And so we all work together to make it look great. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a fabulous Friday. And always remember that you are beautiful.